Last year on this channel, I covered this book and I said I thought it was the best introduction, the best practical introduction to machine learning that I'd ever seen. And I really do. I think it's an excellent book and a lot of people agreed with me. Well, at the end of last year, the second edition of this book came out and here it is. And the question is, is this book as good as the first edition? Let's take a look. I think this book is even better than the previous book. It has 250 extra pages. Let's take a look at the index. So you get an overall description of machine learning. You then get an end-to-end -end machine learning project. So what I like about this book is that it starts at sort of a high level and then you go into more details. Differences from the other book, well, we have this section on uh, unsupervised learning techniques, specifically K-means and uh, Gaussian mixtures. They weren't in the previous one. And then the uh, section on neural networks has been expanded. Uh, and there's a nice section on deep computer vision using convolutional neural networks. The book has also been updated to cover TensorFlow 2 and Keras. I think this is even better than the first edition. Uh, it has, it's an expanded version of the first edition and it has all the strengths of the first edition plus it covers extra topics. Why do I like it? I like the way it starts with a high level, you know, explanation of the field uh, and then you get in chapter two an end-to-end -end machine learning project to follow through. This gives the rest of the book context. The topics are very well explained. There's a lot of code uh, and you know, code examples and it's very well presented. By the time you've gone through this, you will understand the topic very well. And in practical terms, you'll understand how to implement and build your own projects. Some criticisms of the book are that it's not for beginners. You know, it's a little bit too advanced for beginners. And whilst you could argue that that is true, if you've never done any Python before, or you don't know uh, linear algebra or a little bit of calculus, you might get a bit lost. But I think for the really motivated beginner, it would be very good. So even if that is you, even if you don't know any Python, um, you know, you'll go away and learn enough Python to be able to do the book. And, and if you don't know enough maths, you'll be able to go away and learn enough maths. It's the bar is set low enough for you to be able to teach yourself those things and then pursue the book. But it is true that it's not for absolute beginners. So if you feel that you're an absolute beginner, perhaps just read up, learn a little bit of Python and in just enough maths to be able then to start using this book. The other thing about this book is that it's for determined readers only. If you're just a little bit interested in machine learning and are wondering you know, how it might be implemented using Python, this book won't be for you because, you know, to, to be able to learn from this book, you've got to be very motivated to want to get all the way through it. The things in this book, the topics that are covered are, you know, they're, they're complex, they're challenging, and they will require thought. This isn't bedtime reading. It's gonna take you, if you're a beginner, a good few months to get through it, but that's no bad thing because it's so comprehensive, you'll know the subject very well. And, you know, in the UK, it's 35 pounds, which for such a comprehensive book on the subject, I think is extremely good value. And if you look at the cost of machine learning courses out there, it compares very favorably to that. So if you are a deter, you know, if you're determined to learn machine learning, if you're very motivated to learn machine learning using Python, I would very much recommend this book to you.